Let me hit. Kitty. Hello, my cat loving friends. Imagine you bring your cat to the vet and the vet says what your cat has is not curable. There's no FDA cat approved medication for this. We should probably euthanize. But what if over 100,000 cats have been cured of this? What's going on and why are they keeping this from us? We've got Peter Cohen back today, one of our favorite humans, and he is the king of FIP warriors. And he's going to talk about FIP and your cat as soon as we have a word from the sponsor. Welcome back to 19 Cats and Counting. I'm your co-host, Linda Hall, here with the ever-gorgeous blonde bombshell, my BFF, Rita Reimers. Not bad for 62, <laughs> huh? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Tricking right along. Tricking right along. You're good for my ego, Linda, but I try. I want to talk to Peter. Enough about yes. me. Yes. Peter's one of our favorite people in the world because yes. he tirelessly fights to make sure people... Yes get FIP medication for their cats that their yes. cats deserve. Yes. So tell us what's new in the house of Zen by Cat. So actually my house is called House of Neko. House of Neko. That, that's our house where two humans and 29 cats live. And then Zen by Cat is our nonprofit that raises money for FIP research and connects today's FIP cats with treatment. Love it. How did you get started on the FIP path? Oh, that's such a long story. Let me try to squish it down. Um, so I've been adopting cats and built my house for cats for, for decades. And then in 2016, one of my kittens, uh, Miss Bean, was diagnosed with FIP, which was an uh, always fatal, horrible disease that kills mostly kittens and older cats. Uh, and because of the fame of my house, I got connected with uh, UC Davis was starting a research project to use human antiviral drugs to try to cure FIP. Uh, Miss Bean got into the trial. She didn't make it, unfortunately. But uh, after her death, uh, Smokey got in. And a long story, I adopted him. And he went on to become one of the first cats ever cured of FIP. And to pay it forward, we created Zen by Cat to help raise money to fund ongoing research. Uh, the drugs work, but unfortunately, uh, they're not approved. So our secondary mission is connecting people with those non-approved drugs. Uh, and we created a, a separate organization, FIP Warriors, now it's called FIP Warriors 5.0. That group now has uh, over 50,000 human members all over the world. Wow. And we have cured uh, over 100,000 cats. There are now other groups, full disclosure. FIP yeah. Warriors is not the only one, but that's the one I work with. Yeah. Uh, so Zen by Cats' main mission is to get people to fund ongoing research. And our secondary and obviously very important mission is to connect uh, today's FIP cats with FIP Warriors. And we are curing many, many thousands of cats. Now, for those who don't know, what is FIP, Peter? FIP stands for feline infectious peritonitis. It is an autoimmune disease. Uh, it comes about uh, when a normally uh, harmless coronavirus in cats mutates into FIP. Once it mutates, it's not contagious, but without treatment, it is always fatal. Uh, until uh, Smokey was cured in 2016, there was no cure. And then from 2019 on, these uh, uh they're called black market or off-label label drugs became available because they're not approved, uh, but they absolutely work. These drugs cure 85 to 90% of FIP cases that we can get the people started on. Uh, the challenge is because they're not approved, there's all kinds of hurdles. Uh, we help people jump over those hurdles. That's amazing. You're literally saving lives. I am confused. So we know without a doubt, categorically, that these medications can cure how many, what was the percentage you just said? It's 85 to 90% cure rate. 85 wow. to 90%. Starting in 2019, we knew this for a fact. It's four well, the, years the, later. The drugs were, were discovered in 2016. They became widely available from 2019 on. So we have used them and we have now have proof uh, that you know over 100,000 cats all over the world have been cured. This is not remission. This is cured. Smokey was cured uh, in 2016, and he's now a happy seven-year-old healthy cat. Okay. So since 2016, we've known they work. And since 2019, it's been widely accepted. So why don't, I think Linda's getting to the question. Seven why don't years, the- Yeah, I'm getting mad. Actually, seven years later, why is this still not approved for our cats? What do we need to do? This is the frustrating world of humans, uh, because- <laughs> Uh, it, it's a long, complicated story, but the simple, short version is uh, when Gilead uh, let UC Davis use these various uh, antivirals to, to trial, 
the deal was if they work, they would license them for cats, but then uh, they decided they wanted to treat humans actually for COVID. The parent drug of GS is remdesivir, uh, which is used for treating humans. And oh, yeah. decided that they didn't want to risk their huge human market. If they, if they license it to cats, this is their thinking, not mine. If they license it to cats and then there was some problem, they were worried the FDA would shut down the human market and they would lose um, a lot of money. I so for disclosure, pharmaceutical companies, while they do a lot of good, not so good on the morals. So they they renege. So they will never license GS. Uh, a lot of Chinese companies make it. Now even some Americans make it. They get around it. They say their molecule is slightly different. But that's another reason we fund ongoing research to find drugs that will be approved and that will work faster. But in the meantime, the drugs we have are mainly GS. It, the full name is GS441524, abbreviated GS. There's a second drug, GC376. That's the first one that we use that cured Smokey. That one is actually halfway through the seven-year FDA approval process, so it wow. might be approved. But right now, there are no approved drugs in almost every country on the earth. There are a few. Uh, I think Australia, UK, and New Zealand have approved remdesivir, remdesivir to treat cats. I don't believe GS is approved, but that's that's the story why these drugs haven't been approved. Uh, so this is really off-label use that you're doing. With them. Right. Some people call them black market. Some people call them off label. No mm -hmm. veterinarian can buy the drug. No veterinarian can legally inject it. But um, you, cat parents buy the drug in the sense that the government's not going to come after you for, for saving your own cat. Sure. And vets can absolutely do the supportive care. We have thousands of vets all over the world who help us treat cats. We are not doctors. We are not trying to replace your vet. Yeah. We are just trying to get your vet information and get you these drugs so that you can uh, cure your cat together with your vet. This is very eye-opening, but not in a good way. Right? Well, it's it's frustrating because, you know, we have recently gotten into diving into some over-the-counter pet products like urine cleaners and stuff. And we found carcinogens, um, organ toxicity risk, uh, developmental and reproductive toxicity. We have found all this stuff. Pet products are not held to the standard that even people products are held to, which is not good enough, in my opinion. Yeah. And so they, it's like they don't care what they stick in the cat, but they're going to play this game with life-saving drugs because of their pockets. Yeah, and, all right, I got it. And, and I, I'm not trying to vilify Gilead in particular. This is no, just the human's world work. That The truth is, even in human health science, there are drugs that will help humans that are hard to get. So uh, right. we just focus on filling the vacuum. Uh, again, we have been accepted by vets all over the world. I speak at FIP conferences mm -hmm. at the last one in Tucson. <laughs> uh, researchers and veterinarians are on our side. They say, right now, the only choice a cat parent has to save their, their cat is, are these drugs. So until the drugs get approved, which is what we all want, uh, we're filling that vacuum and we are we are saving cats. And so their hands are tied. They'd love to be able to prescribe these, but they can't. But yes, yeah. vets, yeah. vets want to, everyone says they, I believe, everyone wants to save cats. They're just stuck in this weird human world. So in the meantime, this is our workaround. And uh, as I said, we're trying to reach not only cat parents, but vets, because there's still a lot of vets who who don't either don't know that these drugs work or are afraid to use them because they're off label. So we even have a vet group we connect vets with that that they can talk with other vets around the world who are treating and they can find out what they can and can't do and encourage them to to help us save the cats instead of euthanizing cats. The most heartbreaking thing is to be contacted by someone who euthanized their cat because they were told there's nothing they can do. Mm -hmm. only find out that that's not exactly true. You took that right out of my head. Some 30 some years ago, um, we took a cat in that was a stray and we took him to get neutered and they told us that he was FIV positive and he had to go and they euthanized him right there and then. I've been living with an FIV cat for years now. And so it always bothers me that Boo Boo didn't need to die, but we were working with what we knew then. So I can't beat myself up. So that was my thought. Like if I took my cat in and they said, ah, no baby, it's FIP, he's gotta go. And I euthanized him and then found out I could have helped. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Heartbreaking. So we are, are, besides raising money and connecting cats, the other thing is outreach to vets, mm -hmm. uh, to, to anyone who will listen uh, that, these these drugs work. This is not snake oil. Uh, of course, there 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 are humans involved. No one's, not everyone is perfect, but the vast majority of people in FIP warriors and other groups are working to save cats, uh, and and we are. 
So I've also heard there's not a test for FIP. Is that this true? Is, and how do you there, think, how do you know your cat has it if not? So so this is true. Part of the research we fund is looking for a definitive test. There is not a definitive test. Mm -hmm. Often people confuse. Uh, a, a, a test that shows that your cat has coronavirus, which is harmless, it's nothing to do with FIP. So uh, the way we diagnose FIP, and again, I'm not a vet, the way vets diagnose FIP is uh, for, from a full uh, CVTN chem panel, there are different markers in the blood that indicate FIP, mm -hmm. and then observation, because FIP cats, all of them, there's, there's wet FIP, dry, ocular, neurological, but they all uh, become lethargic, lose weight, so that coupled with the blood markers, we can get to an 80% diagnosis within one day. And then we encourage people to start the drug because the drug is extremely safe. During the trials, they, they gave cats up to 10 times the recommended dose without any ill effects. So, nice. and the cats usually respond very quickly. Even cats really near death, you know, neurological can't walk blind. We put them on these drugs within a few days, they start coming back. Wow. I have start, goosebumps all over. You like start the everywhere. drug, they start responding. It is a 12-week course, but then you know you're on the right track. If they don't respond, there's a couple of things we try first. We, we increase the dosage or we, we switch brands. But you, you, th what we want to avoid is uh, the heartbreaking story of people who spend thousands of dollars on tests and weeks on tests. The cat dies before you get to the 100% diagnosis that you don't need. So again, we connect vets with other vets to encourage them to go this route, just quickly get to an 80% diagnosis, try the drug. Uh, yeah. And then you'll know. Is it primarily kittens or can any cat of any age get FIP? Where does it come from? So um, it, F FIP usually attacks kittens and older cats because it's an autoimmune disease. So it attacks cats with immature or, or weakened uh, immune systems. Uh, the triggers that cause the coronavirus to mutate, they, they're still studying them. Uh, they, they, it, there's a genetic component, but it's pretty small. I have two cats in my house who lost siblings to FIP. These cats are fine. So just because one sibling has it, another one doesn't need to get it. Uh, there's, uh, it's obviously weakened cat. A lot of times uh, cats who have had a traumatic early childhood, right? They're, they're, so their immune system is not mature and they've had all this stress and stuff. But they don't really know. They're still working on that. Mm -hmm. um, it can strike any age cat. It can strike a perfectly healthy, happy cat. But generally, it, it it hits young kittens and older cats. So it's not contagious. It's an internal it is, thing that's going. It is on. not contagious. That's really oh, that's important. good to know. There's a lot of misinformation, and it's it's heartbreaking when people uh, separate a, a FIP kitten from the other cats in the house. That just adds stress. People burn everything in the house. You don't need to. Uh, people misguidedly try to get rid of coronavirus. Uh, and uh, I, I'm not, you can do what you want, but Dr. Peterson spoke at length about it. There are actually, sadly, there are drug companies selling very low doses of GS for to people to get rid of coronavirus in their cats. It's a horrible idea. The coronavirus is going to come back. It's everywhere. If you manage to get it out of your household, someone can walk in off the street. It's on their pants. They can take your cat to the vet. It, it's literally like trying to keep the common cold out of your household. Yeah. Uh, it's you not uh, I know it's listeners are getting nervous with the words coronavirus. It's not the same thing as uh, COVID-19. Co right. COVID is a so mutation. It, so right? they're, both, they're both coronaviruses. Yeah. This yes. one is in cats, that one's in humans. And the drugs that, that treat FIP are treating human so uh yeah my son took that the res <laughs> yeah i can't say that word uh my son took it yeah. that's why i was like oh okay and in so fact a lot of the research that led quickly to find ways to treat uh covid in humans came from fip research nice what a blessing I know. oh my gosh but i know we people are them. listening now going the rona my cat has the rona uh-huh exactly panic <laughs> panic so how do they get these drugs and how expensive are they? Okay, so uh, how they get them. If people can contact me uh, at Zen by Cat, I connect them with FIP Warriors 5.0 and then they will help them uh, uh, get connected with these online sellers, mostly Chinese. Now there are some American, some Canadian and they help them buy the drugs direct. What we, what we normally do is because time is important, uh, you someone doesn't matter where they are, whether they're in Tennessee or in Moscow, they'll contact us. We can find someone treating nearby and get them the drug within 24 hours. They borrow the drug from someone. 
and then they get them set up and they order their own drugs. That's what I was wondering about. I thought, oh my gosh, if we're on death's door and we can turn that around, but how long does it take to get here from China? So that's amazing. Yeah. Yes. And, and time is important. And, you know, this is this part where we are open to attack, where things can go wrong, because obviously there's uh, <laughs> not a perfect system where you, you go meet a stranger and they give you a vial of this drug. But this is the world we live in and it absolutely works. And then uh, you don't you don't normally pay for that drug, you pay it forward. So just the other day, I, I gave two vials to someone who's just started treating. She said, how much? I said, nothing. I said, when you get your own drug, someone's gonna come need to get their cat started and you pay it forward that way. Uh, and as nice. far as the cost, uh, the cost has come way down. It is absolutely true in 2019, 2020, these drugs were first coming online. You could easily spend, you know, six, seven, eight thousand dollars for 12 weeks of drug. Today, they're as cheap as uh, for a small kitten with wet FIP, which is the easiest to, to cure. The drug can cost as little as six or seven hundred dollars in 12 weeks. Wow. So, that said, you know, the, 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 there are different kinds of FIP. The hardest to treat is neurological. All the different versions use the same drugs. It's just more and more of the drug. So the word, the hardest to treat is neurological. And if you have a big cat, because it's based on weight, you can spend many thousands thousands buying this drug but that's really not so out of con con you know context with other major medical illnesses that you would treat your cat right if your cat oh has definitely cat. oh so, my gosh just getting uh you know some x-rays or mri done with your cat can cost more than that You're yeah so, so it, that that's the cost we we encourage people to find out their options a lot of people start gofundmes you don't have to buy all 12 weeks of drugs at once. And uh, just on my site alone, there are 1,200 cat stories on my website, uh, most of them in treatment or finished. And a lot of them have their own fundraising links. We encourage people to donate directly. And I tell people, if you're trying to treat your cat, don't be shy. Ask your friends and you can raise a lot of money to help pay for the treatment. Absolutely. Yes. We have to unfortunately take a break right here, but okay. we'll be right back after this word from our sponsor with more about FIP. And we're back, Nightwing Cats and Counting. Excuse me, I tripped over my words there. This is why Linda Hall, my BFF and cohort, does most of the talking. I'm the mouth. <laughs> That's true, too, what I wasn't going to say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Anyway, we have Peter Cohen here. <laughs> Send by Cat, helping to uh, alert uh, people about uh, the drugs that do effectively treat FIP and get that approved so our veterinarians can prescribe it. Yes. Yes. So how do people help? I want to help, but I can't, I wish if I had $700 right now, I'd say who needs the drug and I'd send it to you, but I ain't got that. That could be the so future, some I of the do. future of our yes, that, uh, that is outreach. The future. Yes. Someday I'm going to send you 700 bucks and say, I give a 12 week supply to somebody who needs it. But in the meantime, so, so again, Zen by Cat, which is our 501c3 legal nonprofit, we are mainly focused on getting people to donate to fund ongoing research. And the best way you can help is sign up for $10 monthly donations at zenbycat.org. I know and, we do. Yep. And, and, and a short little commercial, people say, why should I donate to Zen by Cat? Why don't I donate directly to Every Cat Health Foundation, which is how we fund our money to researchers around the world? And the answer is uh, twofold. One, it's not either or. Donate to more than one. It's, it's not you know, donate as much as you can. But why support Zen by Cat? A uh, couple reasons. One, we are uniquely set up. I think it's pretty uniquely set up where we are set up guaranteed that 90 cents of every dollar you send goes to those researchers. So when you sign up for $10 a month, the first month, $9 goes to the researchers around the world through Every Cat Health Foundation. The $1 we keep to help cover our outreach saves today's cats. Again, we have saved thousands and thousands of cats I make up the difference. 10% is not enough to run a nonprofit. I make up the difference. So if you want to help, Zen by Cat is a really good vehicle to do that. Um, that's why you should donate to us. That's the best way. Last it's year, zenbycat.org. Is that where people go to donate and to join the uh, $10 a month chat Correct. Or you challenge? zenbycat.org, it actually lands on the page to sign up for those donations. And then you can explore the page. It has all the information about FIP, about Zen by Cat. It has lots of cat videos. I have your awesome mug. I love this. <laughs> yes, like it's pretty. It's pretty, out of it's pretty blue mug. inside too. I don't yeah. know if you can see. We that. have an Are online you... store, and we work with lots and lots of small companies where every donation generates a sale 
That's uh, what I was going to say. Some... A couple of years ago for Valentine's Day, I sent Rita some fancy schmancy chocolates you did. off at my cat site. Just, you know, I had to send her something. I thought, let's help. You know, we, we're all spending money on people. It's really it's sad that Linda's the only one who gets me Valentine's presents, but that's all. I love you, yeah. baby. <laughs> and I want to I want to get the message out. People often say, oh, I didn't know $10 a month made a difference. Last year, Zen by Cat donated $124,000 to FIP Research. Nice. More than half of that, $70,000 came from $10 monthly donors. Wow. So it makes a difference. It's two cups of coffee. If you've been touched by FIP or you have $10 extra, please, 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 standbycat.org, please join. It's not much. I mean, you can't even get a pizza for $10 anymore. For sure. It's not going to hurt your bank account. You can get one. And, <laughs> yeah, that will be better for your butt. Uh, but yeah, you know, I have not personally been touched by FIP. Sorry, a cat just walked over my feet and tickling me. I was wondering what um, you were doing. Yes, I'm being tickled by someone fuzzy. I think it's Harley. Anyway, um, I don't know that I won't be. I plan on having cats until I'm ready to go to glory. So um, yeah, then they go I to your know. kids. Yes, and then my kids will have to deal and, with them. You know, that that's also a good point. FIP is still a rare disease. Uh, mm -hmm. We live in our own bubble. Uh, obviously, I work with people who have been touched by it. Once you're touched by it, it's hard to forget it. It's you lose the innocence of that such a thing sure. is out. Uh, so we yes. we understand if you've never been touched by it, maybe you don't want to donate. Just share our videos; that helps. But yes. if you've been touched, right? All we need is five thousand people to give ten dollars a month. That's a million dollars a year. That's what Dr. Peterson said. The researchers of the world need to end this for everyone. So our message is really aimed at people who have been touched by FIP. Share those videos. Go watch some of these videos to look at how gorgeous Peter's house is and how these cats have such an awesome place. Yes. Yes. I want to die and come back as one of your cats. Peter. Oh, you and me both, honey. That's the <laughs> life. So often I look at these videos and I'm like, I could lay right there. That mm -hmm. looks really cozy. And I'm like taking a nap at Peter's and, house. He doesn't know it. And how so many cats do you have that get along in peace? We we just have just 29. Just 29. Just 29. Just 29. Just 29. You're still ahead of me. That's okay. <laughs> Never in a million years did I imagine to have this. Oh, I know, I know. Me too. I said that once and, and I'm only at 11, but I said once and not long ago, I said, I thought seven was like this crazy oh, amount and, when I had seven. I, you can edit this out if I'm not allowed to say it, but just a shout out. Uh, we adopt from a local shelter in Santa Barbara called Rescue Cats. Mm -hmm. uh, Rescue Cats. Amazing private shelter and they have a little kitten uh batman little cute little black kitten that's looking for a home and because he's black a kitten he, they he's been out uh for three weeks nobody will take him if anyone has room for a beautiful little black kitten named batman in santa barbara please come to get him i him. have a little yes. black kitten i can vouch for how beautiful they are and how sweet i have an adult black cat linda has four black cats yeah we, we have four too where can yeah, they I find would, this I kitten would, where can people go to take... find this kitten Rescue uh, he's, cats. At rescue, he's at Rescue Cats in Santa Barbara, California. Yes. Shout out to Rescue Cats. Thank you I for what you do. Him, I would take that's him in a second, but the other human in this house has said he would shoot me if I took another cat. So That's what Linda says. She's going to end up divorced if she brings in another cat. I keep saying if I bring in another one, my husband will leave So all the new sanctuary cats come to my house, and I'm saying the next sanctuary cat, so we have our building, goes to you, Linda. <laughs> Rita said he wouldn't leave you. I said nobody'd be grumpy, and that would make my life miserable. And That's nobody wants that. So story. yes, exactly. Oh, and can, can I say? Can I say? Zen by Cat is on all the platforms: TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, yes. and Facebook. Following us and sharing our videos is also a great way to help us. Even if you can't donate, that makes the algorithms like us. Yes. So and we have we have lots and lots and lots of videos. If you like, yes, that. you took I'm that right out of my mind. If you have any interest in catifying your home, which you should, if you have a cat, you should have a great you interest. Should. Peter's home is beyond Disney World for cats. It is the coolest, and yet it's aesthetically pleasing to people, right? It doesn't look like yeah, I mean, it's beautiful it's for cats, but it's gorgeous. What if you I could, like. I'd have you come down here and redesign my whole house. And, yeah, and, we're like we gotta talk. And we to encourage, him. We encourage people to catify their home and build homes that they like too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't buy, don't buy an ugly cat tree and put it in your living room. Find one that you like because you both live there. Yes. Exactly. Somebody gave me this one. Don't you love the one uh, that uh, my friend gave me? That's in the corner. Yeah. It's like got a curve on top. It doesn't look like a, a regular cat tree. There's yeah. so many options kind of out there and so much beautiful pretty. cat furniture available now. Not like yes. when I was a kid, it was like 
you know, the cat tree or a square box, and that's about it. Yes. yes. And, and yes. It's, it's worth buying one a little more expensive that lasts. Mm -hmm. Don't buy one that, you know, for 60 bucks that ends up in the landfill in two months because it's not good for the planet, not good for you. Like that exactly. little one and I have, Linda, that the cats, they scratch and scratch and scratch one of the legs to it. And you can tell like the leg is just, it looks like a paper towel holder. That's all that's like holding it up. It looked like the cartoons where the beaver chews the tree. And so it's like at a point yeah. like this, that's it's not it good. Was. It just, it was like, I don't have that one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look good. But yeah, you know, you know, so, okay. You absolutely can't do the ton box. We get you. But yes, follow his page, like his stuff. This is going to help share it, share it. algorithms and sharing it. And you don't know, you may have a very dear friend, very close friend, somebody that you love that ends up with a cat with a or you might. even if you don't. So yeah, so, you and, know, it's a good resource. Can I also resource. be really clear, when you reach out to Zen by Cat or F5 Tours 5.0, you don't have to donate. You don't have to pay anything. We will help you. And we tell you, 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 for 12 weeks, for the treatment 12 weeks, your focus is on saving your cat. And then we hope after you recover, then you can help us. I, so don't, yes. and we don't charge anything. You, you, yes. you, have anyone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if you've got an FIB cat now, uh, go to zenbycat.org and see how they could maybe help you with that FIP cat. Yes. Yes. Or go yes. directly to FIP Warriors 5.0, but it's really important you go to the right group. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of groups, some not so good. So, Right, yeah. right. Yeah. How does how does someone uh, aside from working with you and knowing that you're legit, how does somebody vet a group to find out if they are legit? I, I, I not I, to do it. Huh? It's hard, right? So that's why I say uh, I I don't disparage any group anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. But I I FIP or is five is the one that I know and trust. Uh, there are others that are perfectly trustworthy. Uh, the best thing is to ask around, ask to speak to cat parents who have worked with the group you're talking to. Uh, yeah. But the vast majority are good. The problem is, you know, if you have the bad luck of running into a, a group that's not. Or, yeah. Or somebody that's yeah. Not. It's, it's, it's that for everybody. So yeah. FIP warriors 5.0 or zenbycat.org. So yes. yes. Is there a website? And, and, uh, what is it you said? FIP warriors 5.0. What is their yes. website that.com? Yeah, they, they have a website, a Facebook page. And if you're, okay. if you're not awesome. sure, just contact uh, me at yeah. zenbycat.org or peter at zenbycat.org is my email and I'll connect you and, yeah. and give you lots of other information about treating your cat. Peter is wonderful about, you know, oh, yeah, I haven't reached out to me. Oh, yeah, they need it. Oh, yeah. So he's wonderful. He's not just a face behind the name. He's a handsome face behind. He's he is a handsome. That's a good well, looking Let me tell man. you, that I gotta, guy works out, too. I'm not going to lie. Those, he's got those some guns. guns. Yeah, he's a pretty good looking dude. But beside <laughs> that. But he's a good human. He yes. ran into this problem and he didn't just get his cat fixed and say, see ya. He's putting himself physically, emotionally, and financially into this fight. Talk and about I paying it forward, right? Reason. Well, yeah, and, for sure. You know, I've only been doing this since 2016. Dr. Niels Peterson, who is the head researcher who had this idea, he worked with others, not just him. Uh, for 50 years, he fought to end this. And when wow. we started with my cat in, from 2016 to 2019, even though Smokey had been cured, uh, we worked with people, all cats died. And it's if you look on my website, uh, where we have 1,200 cat stories, you see 1,200 pictures, right? And they're in chronological order. So all the pictures from 2016, 17, 18, all those cats died. They all have little rainbows. And those people shared their story and donated. And then from 2019 on, the pictures started changing, where under treatment, we have a little red cross. And under cured, we have little sunshine. Oh. And now to the pictures are red crosses and sunshine. We still I have love that. smooth cats. But... It used to be they all died, and now we can save them. It's perfect so, visual it's, perspective. And you can physically look at that and see a record of how hard you work and that you've made an impact. That's, That's amazing. Exactly. That's what I'm I was just thinking. one of many, many, you know, I really, FIP Wars, my hat's off to them all around the world. There are chapters everywhere, and they all deal with, uh, as I said, the pushback is sometimes intense, um, and they're saving cats. So they're the real heroes. Uh, but my mission is uh, get people to give money. Yes. Yeah. I know what I know. We're almost yeah. out of time, Linda. Did you have another? Did you have another question? I wanted to ask Peter something. Go off topic. Ahead. I think I got all my questions. Off out. topic. 
how yeah. do you keep your house so clean? There's not cat fur anywhere. She not cat litter on the floor. Every how do you do that? Every time we so, talk so to Peter, she so That's a good question because people look at my videos and they ask that question often. Uh, the truth is I have 29 cats. Cats are always peeing outside the box. Sure. Uh, we clean the house every day. It, it takes less time than you think. There are two humans who live here. Since COVID, we do all the cleaning ourselves. Uh, literally every day I spend about an hour and a half you know, cleaning litter boxes, vacuuming. We vacuum every day, stuff like that. Saturday is cleaning day. We start by uh, taking a leaf blower and go around and blow all the catwalks. And then all the dust comes down. Then we run uh, rumbas. I have 10 different rumbas. Oh, wow. up. I have Dyson vacuums. So Saturday we spend two humans about eight hours to clean the house, the whole house. Do you it's hear not... that, Dyson? You 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 need to be uh, backing, right? Yes, Dyson, You're going. Answer this man. And Roomba too. Dyson's yes. <laughs> uh, and, then, and our house is also designed to be clean, right? We don't right. have any rugs. Uh, all our furniture is covered by washable, waterproof covers because cats. That's my main problem: the sofas. Just yeah, we have these amazing covers. They come in different colors and sizes. Uh, you throw them in the wash when they pee on them. Put another one. And, I want to know where you get those. I just pee. It's we, cute. We buy them at I Amazon. Mean, if you Google if uh, "waterproof dog uh, cover," you know, Ooh, cover. Okay. They sell, uh, and they work really, really well. And your floors I, are. Um, I saw some parts of your house. There are they all ceramic, or you have wood? Some they're, they're all uh, you know tile of different sites. There's no more rugs. I had to give up air, even airy rugs. You know they sell washable airy rugs, but yeah. The top, as soon as I put it down, and the cat's unhappy. They, I'm the same way. I don't get them yeah. anymore. So no I more rugs. Um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm knocking wood because I'm scared to say it, but I don't have anybody peep right now. Please don't. Oh God, don't you just cursed yourself. I know. I'm like, I just don't. <laughs> don't I text say you. it. I'm going right. to text, right. right. text you at 3 a.m. and be like, someone peed. Yeah. Throw that they, salt off your shoulder they right barf. now. I mean, there's 11 yeah, of they them. Barf. There are fur balls. Not a lot. Well, you know, bar barfing, also I want to mention, uh, a while ago, we used to, you know, with 29 cats, we would always, every morning, clean up, throw up all over the place. Yes. And then someone told us, if you get rid of seafood, that'll go away. And we took seafood out of all the diets and it went away. Wow. I, I wish I could do that. I have two cats that will only eat seafood. And, yeah. and you got to give the cats what they eat. But right. we yeah. got rid of it and we almost had no throw up. Injury. Really? Amazing. Wow. We even tested it. We we, we tried it again. And the any cat, any area we gave it, we got the throw up again. So apparently a lot of cats are allergic to seafood, which is counterintuitive from all the cartoons. I that, know. You know yes. I read that's not really in their natural diet is the seafood yeah. isn't. Everybody thinks it is, but it's not. So we don't it's give them any allergy at all. Ah, oh. smart. You hear that, Oliver? I'm gunning for your tuna. I don't want you to eat it anymore. <laughs> and Jet, Jet is you know, if your tuna. Cats, if your cats don't have a problem. You're fine. You know, it's just yeah. Well, no, I get yeah, barfing almost every morning. I step in something. No, I don't get it every morning. See, again, I'm jinxing myself. I don't get it every morning, but I got it. Usually at like 3 a.m. in bare feet walking to the bathroom. That's usually when oh, I, I sat That's... bolt up in bed two nights ago because I heard boo-boo. Uh, 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 I had to get and them then, on the floor. You, have... you have to throw them off your bed fast enough. Yes. <laughs> and and I always feel, feel bad. so bad about it, but it's like, yeah. I don't feel bad. I do. All. I do. Oh. I know yeah. we digress, but we you can, know we can, sleep, we can sleep through an earthquake, but the sound of a cat almost uh, uh, up, yeah. Right like, oh, I know. It's like, is it like a? Uh, I never had babies, but I imagine it's like a baby cry and a, a new mom. She's oh yeah, boom, yeah, yeah. yeah you're in tune. Yeah, kind of like that. Even though I'm <laughs> partly deaf, I still hear the uh, 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 even if it's two rooms away. Mm -hmm. She can't hear me talking to her in the same room when I come, but what? you know she can hear that. <laughs> It's just not, it's just not nice, Linda. Just, I know. Honey. She's two rooms away talking to me and she knows I can't hear her. But anyway, now and we're getting personal. You'll hear her say, it's funny. You think I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's funny. Peter, any last words of wisdom for everybody listening and wanting to help? Um, no, again, just zenbycat.org. And uh, also, if you've been touched by FIP, it is horrific. But don't let that take away your joy of cats. People often get traumatized with it because, again, watching a kitten die is horrific. Um, yeah. 
but it is a rare disease. And for me, the best way to deal with any loss of an animal is to open your heart to another one. It's not replacing the one you lost. It's building a different right. bond. There are so many cats and dogs and animals that need humans. So my everyone grieves differently, but grieve and then go help another cat. Exactly. I yes. agree. Uh, and of yes. course, your wonderful uh, cat behind you, Linda, is taking the moment Licking to show his us his crotch. Butt. Mm -hmm. yeah those of you seeing the video know who i'm talking about it's deadpool yeah deadpool is right behind me <laughs> looking his crotch right on camera because so, you know i'll get you off camera by talking then thank you so much linda for being the awesome co-host you are i usually go back to uh gallery view now but i think i won't thanks to your cat um <laughs> peter yep we are always so honored to have you as a guest come back anytime and please ten dollars a month is not too much we do it you thank should you too so much for helping me get my message out oh definitely christmas is coming it. and there are a lot of people that are really hard to buy for if you've got a, a parent or somebody who's got everything like i know this feeling uh you know put them put their name in and, and... Right, right and and when you sign up for ten dollars a month we'll give you a free warrior t-shirt yes. yeah so the yes. reason i'm not wearing mine is too snug around the girls but i have my mug yes fip warrior and zen by cat yes. this is an awesome mug oh, those colors um, and of course, Mark Winter, I have to thank you for giving us this awesome spot on Pet Life Radio. We sure do appreciate it. And remember, every single day is Catter Day. We'll see you next time.